All right. I'm off. Um, so I'm going to do a full body workout. I'll do some uh, free weights. I started with uh, squats and ups and do a lot of supersets, not uh, not circuit training this time. Do more uh, straight sets. I uh, got, got some new uh, weights and stuff to uh, work out with. I hadn't um, I actually took two weeks off. Um, hadn't done that in a while, over a year. So I just needed to uh, get that done. Um, just rest everything up, come back stronger. But, uh, but it's been two weeks, so I'll uh, just fill it out and see how it goes. And then I'm going to do the uh, pulley stretcher as well um uh towards the end of it and uh then we're gonna uh next we can do like some dumbbell bench and um see how much that um, machine right there i'll just do the camera that red machine right there uh see how the uh, bench works in that uh all right so we'll get to it start off light i don't have a uh, squat rack um this is how i used to do it um growing up without a squat rack uh, I gotta do it. Um, how are you cleaning it up? Put it over your head, but that um, builds um, builds other strength. Builds a lot of general strength. Being able to do that, I'm doing it that way. But you gotta make sure you get every rep. Let's see. All right, nice little warm up set. Um, uh, so let's go from here. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, got like a body weight one, like pull ups to warm up. It helps a lot just to do like two reps uh, since you can't do like lighter weight or anything. My skin's breaking out. Take one day without a shower and that's what happens. I normally work out a lot, so I sweat a lot and detoxify. But I hadn't um, hadn't been working out, so I hadn't been sweating that much. Um, so uh, builds up on me. But I uh, get a good sweat going. So clear everything out. All right. Um, yeah, I heard not too long ago some pretty good advice that um, uh, that you actually warm up between sets. So that's a good way to uh, build strength and everything. Um, uh, gets ready. You do a, a set and then rest, and then it gets ready um, for the next set to perform better. All right, so double weight. Bar weighs 10 pounds, so this is uh, 110. Probably just do like 135. Might go up. Not sure. <clears throat> Oh, my God. 
I got the board here because um, it gets better than doing it on carpet. Less of a slick surface. You know, I'll have the AC on. Maybe I'll turn it on later. Not today. I need to not sit in that position. I was sitting like this and talking video, and then I'll wear me out a little bit. Um, so uh, squats are the best, probably the best exercise, uh, free weights anyway, because um, uh, the way you hold on your back. And squat down works pretty much like all the muscles of the body. You gotta hold it up with your back, and it works all the muscles of the legs. Um, so it's a very large compound movement and uh, releases a lot of uh, anabolic hormones, like uh, testosterone and uh, growth hormone. <clears throat> Makes you better at uh, all the other lifts, but it uh, can interfere with uh, some stretching and kicking, um, but uh, maybe not too much. Especially since I'm not going real, real heavy. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that and it was making my squats um, tough to do. Like an incredible burning sensation. Uh, it's just light weights from doing all the uh, stretching and everything. So um, I hadn't done much of anything uh, the past two weeks. Just been going for walks and uh, a little bit of carpentry work and stuff. I did uh, yesterday around the house, which is a very good uh, mobility type exercise and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I guess that's long enough. <clears throat> a lot of different feel, um, not doing the circuit training. It's more like standard straight sets. So, let me get to it. This is 135 right here. Ooh. 
after I got down, uh, got down from those pull-ups, felt a pretty good uh, burning sensation in my legs. Whew, I have a pretty good form on the squat. Um, pretty good squat form. I hadn't, um, I mean, I had uh, uh, done a lot of practice on it with just like a straight uh, stick and everything like that. Uh, it took me a few years to really get it down good. I have more of a deadlifter's physique with uh, the long legs and the short spine instead of a squatter's physique with uh, short legs and the long spine. So uh, I just do a wider stance and that way I can go below parallel, which, um, um, which is pretty necessary to get the results of it. There's a big difference um, between going um, down all the way in the hole like that. They call it in the hole. Um, it's a big difference between going like parallel or above parallel and then that little bit below parallel. Um, huge difference. Um, can't do as much weight a lot of the times. But um, once you get the form down, you can get pretty good weight. But um, uh, it's a huge difference in development uh, between doing um, below parallel or not. <clears throat> So it was 135. Uh, well maybe I'll do one more set of that and go up. I hadn't, been, hadn't done this in two weeks or whatever. Um, I haven't been doing squats much at all. But uh, I hadn't been doing a lot of stretching, which I mentioned earlier. So uh, the burn isn't too bad. Um, before I was doing it, I had just an um, incredible, like unbearable type that burn from doing them, um, but uh, not too bad right now. Should stick with that, um, but uh, oh, I've got one. One more second. One forty-five. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, oh, burn my legs. Um, oh, I was going to talk about um, how you do it. This might be a long workout. I might go for a couple hours or so. That might be my longest video. <laughs> um, but, um, I was going to say, oh, yeah, when you uh, clean it up, put it over your head, how it uh, builds a lot of strength. But like in a, a squat rack, and you have the, uh, the bars on the side to where if you can't lift it, you just drop it down. You can come out from underneath it. Um, or uh, just like drop it on the rack. Um, and then Tom Platt said that he, um, he, would, he wouldn't squat. He'd pull it off the rack, but he wouldn't squat within a squat rack. So he said like if he couldn't make it, he'd just drop it off his back. I did that one time. I was doing uh, 315 with uh, box squats, and I was on the box, and I couldn't get back up, so just dropped it off on the rack. Uh, it's the only time I've ever done that. Normally, I just lower all the way down, and if I can't get up or whatever, I just get it on the rack and then get out from underneath it, just lower all the way down. Um, so on this, uh, I've never failed um, doing this style of uh, squat before. Um, I've always done it to where I could, um, you know, I could clean it back and get it, and get it off. So um, I'm not going to like absolute failure. Um, but the worst came the worst. I just let it go behind me. It crashed out on the board pretty hard. But uh, just going to know, uh, know how you can go. A little more volume work. Oh. <sighs> 
Whew. All right. That was good for today. Actually, my two weeks off not doing anything made me uh, more capable of doing that. Um, whew, before I'd, I'd get to like run like 10 or 12 reps, the pain would be uh, pretty unbearable after I racked it. So I'd rack it, and I'd do the set, like thinking it's like a warm up set, and put it down, and, uh, and then walk away and be like, holy crap, burn just pins and needles and uh, hamstrings. So uh, one of the things is not to go too overboard. So that's a good uh, good start. Most I've ever done with uh, a rack is uh, 275, uh, 21 tons. What's the big difference? I weighed a lot more. Go more for solid bulk. Probably couldn't run. I couldn't run very far, <laughs> but a uh, uh, big difference. You Nose know, wearing a belt makes a big difference. I quit wearing a belt a while ago. So, uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to get that done. It feels pretty good. And um, now let me try, try something else. Try to see if I can do some uh, dumbbell bench. See how strong that bench is. I'll go, I'll go by feel and uh, see how much it can support me. this mess up. Barbell's pretty cheap. The pants are uh, starting to come off of it. But uh, it's still good. It's actually my first time using it. Not that one. But uh, I guess let me recover from the uh, spots. Don't know. I mean, these 25 pound plates are pretty, uh, pretty big. We're gonna stand them all, so I'm not sure how that will affect the form of the movement. These are actually pretty good dumbbells right here. They're, uh, they're metal screw type. The hers is like the best kind of uh, dumbbells. And uh, uh, take a look at that handle. The handle's got like kind of rubber, but it's got the uh, serrated type of uh, grip on there. So, uh, they look pretty good. Okay, awesome. I wonder why there's two extra colors left over. Because I go to barbell. All right. 
I'm gonna have, uh, set pull ups in just to keep warm, keep active. And, uh, well, it's according to plan, I'll use this towards the end of the workout. I think, it'll, I think it'll hold up pretty good. Probably one way to find out. Testing with this uh, lighter weight. See how it goes. It's good to warm up anyway. <clears throat> Actually, it's actually a little awkward getting these loaded up with this apparatus in the way. Let's uh, see how it goes. That's a little wobbly. <sighs> Won't be able to do it with 90 pounds. Probably not anyway. <clears throat> Imagine these dumbbells. The uh, bar of every weighs a pound, so it's maybe 51 pounds. 50 for sure, maybe 51. Uh, oh, I got a scale over there. I'll go wait. Check it out. <sighs> That was definitely a different feel to it compared to uh, like standard dumbbells. Feels a lot different. Normally, I touch the plates to my shoulder, but um, I don't like sticking out as far as like a conventional um, dumbbell. So um, I'll just go 10 pounds at a time. Maybe just do a pop uh, 10 pounds this time. And uh, See how it goes to see um, how fast I jump up. Wanna uh, wanna do about like ninety pounds or so, but um, uh, let's see how it goes. These dumbbells are kind of awkward with the uh, the size of the plates. We'll walk back with it.
32. That's about. Get a game plan here. I'm going to load these up. <clears throat> yes. I can just squat with it. Take it back here. The squats can take a lot out of you. I have a friend said they don't do any cardiovascular work, they just do high rep squats. In the top. <sighs> All right. <sighs> no. <clears throat> So I have to get like my form right and uh, um, everything because it's different doing a lighter weight. You can kind of manhandle it differently. To where uh, when, once you get into the heavier weight, you have to make sure um, um, you can move it move it right. All right, another set. Fifteen pounds. That's any cup. And actually, I'm gonna go. I want to go weigh these. Weigh these, maybe. See how much it weighs. Uh, give her a pound, two pounds, baby. Ooh, feel that in my legs, lunging down like that. You know, doing these uh, uh, straight sets like this, or super sets anyway, takes a lot more time than um, I'm doing circuit training to get the full body. But you can lift a lot more weight. <clears throat> Catch my breath, get uh, mentally focused. 
I thought it was just uh, kind of breathing hard, just uh, just in preparation, just thinking about getting the uh, getting the setting. <sighs> things like that. This is a lot of more general strength. So I put this under here so that uh, I'm push my feet off of it because the bench is kind of high up. So it's hard to get that uh, feet foot drive. That's right. That's 70. Shit, oh man, shoot, shit. I'm not supposed to cuss on YouTube. They say, well, not so much. So, I don't know. Right, 85. I actually don't think I have the, um, kind of the right weights. We go up to our one and then get some more. Uh, shit, shit. Um, all right, I guess the heaviest thing here is 80. So, uh, I'll just pump these out. Not much room on the uh, on the dumbbell. So uh, let's put all the weights on there. Um, guess I'll just have to get more like uh, tens. Get uh, uh, more twenty fives, and I can do hundred pound presses. <laughs> this is a uh, fairly lightweight. So uh, just do more reps. Sitting really far back, my head wasn't against the bench. It's just a feel that process. So the um, bench feels plenty strong enough. Hopefully, it won't collapse on me. So uh, that's, not, that's not a problem. But since it's not that uh, not that heavy of a weight, let me try uh, try to set an incline.
and uh, actually stronger on the uh, incline movement. But, uh, but, that's good right there. I'm pressing in, I'm pressing into this baby right here. Makes a big difference if you have like a foot pedal to press into. Uh -oh. Okay, just so that. Um, uh, a lot of these seats right here have a uh, incline, so you sit in it better. But that one's just kind of just straight up. I mean, just flat. So that makes a little difference. Before you do it's taking my time, huh? <laughs> Actually, not too much. Um, you might even go like two and a half hours. But um, no, I've got uh, squats and uh, pull ups and the uh, chest. <clears throat> this is a little easier because I'm just squatting between this thing instead of the bench. <clears throat> A little awkward having this uh, thing propping up. <clears throat> See how that feels. That's pretty high incline. It's about like a shoulder press. That's a very, very steep incline. Normally when I do it, it looks a little more like that. And it's flat. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. All right, so I need to uh, strategize a little bit. I'm gonna get these things going. Last time I had one press against the bench, made it really awkward. I need to take my time, make sure I'm fully rested, ready to go. I took uh, two weeks off, but right before I took it off, I was uh, pretty strong in the gym. <clears throat> for, uh, for where I'm at, um, I'm doing a lot of like running and the martial arts work. So that, uh, that really takes away a lot of uh, bulk and strength and stuff. But you yeah, got better cardio and uh, functionality and all that. Mobility, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, when you go heavy, um, 
because the way it takes your time, I feel uh, just being on camera, I want to rush more. But uh, it's good to wait up. Just chill out. Whew. You know, those dumbbells have, have a, a weird feel to them. But I guess it adds a little challenge and the difficulty to it. So that isn't a bad thing. <coughs> Skin's getting a little clear. Okay, so. I'm going to put some head and shoulders on that guys away. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna scoot up on this bench more. Solve that problem. <clears throat> All these extra uh, wiggles and stuff like that adds a lot of uh, general strength. Um, but uh, when you're going like top out and do as strong as you want, um, a lot of top bodybuilders and stuff like that, they'll get people to actually handle the dumbbells on their lap instead of uh, cleaning them up and moving them around. <clears throat> But there's a philosophy it says uh, if you can't lift it, can't get it in place, then don't do it. <sighs> oh, yeah, much better. Just one more set like that. That incline is just really awkward. It's really high and the seat's flat. But the higher you're up, it gets like the upper chest development. Uh, maybe a little better. I'm doing the higher incline. Just a rose. Actually, you know, something pretty cool here. All about being uh, creative on this home workout stuff. So, I got my partner Bob. He takes a lot of abuse from me. But, um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put my feet on the shoulders and do a different kind of rep. I'm gonna try it. First time trying this. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. <sighs> 
Да, верно. Думаю, как это ангажирует лоу бэк много. С лоу бэк много. Вся пастырь чейн, как они называют. Хорошо. Это камера бэк. And uh, you know, whatever uh, exercise you want to be stronger on, or you want to uh, put emphasis on, uh, you do it first. That way, uh, all your strength and uh, all your attention is on it, all your focus and everything. Because um, um, doing ex other exercises first, or in between and stuff like that, can take a lot, uh, take a lot out of it. So if I start off, uh, start off doing th this instead of the squats, just doing this, no supersets or anything. That's how I do it to get the uh, absolute strength out of it. The most I've ever done was uh, 120s, but I had uh, actually had a load spot. But I used to kind of regularly do uh, 115s out of 110s. 110s and 115s, I used to do pretty regularly. <clears throat> That was uh, maybe 81 pounds, maybe 82. Just so awkward getting it in place and everything. Okay. Last set. Last set, best set. I have really long arms, so uh, somebody with shorter arms, they push it out so I do them pretty choppy, and they go full length at the end. And I'm going to do some, uh, some shoulder presses like, uh, like on the picture, and then um, uh, I'm going to do some light curls on that.
Men då ska den vara naturligt. Actually, I couldn't have sort of rose in all that. What's all the general picture from my finger out? Maybe it's other hand. Get a little sunlight curls. And then like since the uh, squats earlier. It's no mix like a uh, seated blood curl. Not too bad, pretty light. This is doing that uh, exercise with the uh, circuit training. The circuit training makes uh, everything, uh, makes that do a lot better weight. I thought I could just sit on this seat. I guess not. Thank <laughs> you. 
A little something in there. Yeah, I might do about two hours of the lifting, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And then a little bit of stretching, long workout. I'd like to do this, uh, do more like this, and uh, show uh, my strength increasing as I get used to uh, the style of uh, home workout and everything, and, um, getting into the um, uh, individual weights and everything. Um, because the floor is different, the movement's different, the feel of it's different, uh, with just the different weights. <clears throat> and then uh, the more I'm used to it, I the gym. <sighs> used to doing the uh, circuit training. At home, <clears throat> and uh, what you're used to doing, what you normally uh, could have done, that's what uh, your body adapts to. But there's a lot of uh, crossover. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, what I'm saying? yes, uh, seems to be carried away doing this uh, full body since I hadn't worked out in two weeks. So, uh, you know, keep the intensity up and everything, but um, try to lower down on the volume a little bit. Hour and ten. Not much longer with the uh, weightlifting. I'll do a little stretch and see where I'm at there. Last time I took two weeks off. Um, was uh, maybe two years ago, the last time I took two weeks off. And uh, um, yeah, first day back, I was able to do split, no problem. So uh, let's see how it goes. Should be no problem. Because I've been doing uh, quite a bit of stretching. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I want to do one more, uh, one more thing at the incline. No, I've done a set, and so my body kind of knows what's coming, so uh, they can get used to it and adapt. So I'm gonna try one more set. Of and uh, yeah, cleaning the uh, cleaning the bar up for the uh, squats takes a little bit out of me. Not too much, but a little bit. The clean motion gets a lot of the shoulders and everything. And then I'm gonna press it up and then press it back. Works the shoulders a little bit. So if I can go a little more than six reps, no, 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 I'm kind of prepared for it. Of course, I did do three sets of shoulder press, and um, an extra two sets of bench, one set of bench. I'm not sure I did one. One after the other. But uh, yeah, let's go. The high, high incline right here. <clears throat> Almost like a shoulder press, press really. So awkward pushing off, pushing off this. Don't want to push on to it too hard because I feel like I didn't bend that bar. And uh, the ground is pretty high. And uh, the seat, so I push off the floor, kind of like pushing up like this. And right here, I can kind of get something. But all your strength comes from uh, pushing off. So if you try to do it with your feet like that, but you hold it from bulging. Oof. 
So that's that. So I'm going to set up uh, shoulder presses, stiff like deadlifts. We're going to get in there. So the sit ups. Can you see me? Yeah. Crap it up. Or something shoulder press should be about good. Two sets of these. I need four frames for It's a belt, the whole body. <clears throat> it's 
Allons-y. Well, I'd probably just do some underhanded uh, pull-ups or curls. That way I keep the pace up. I'm trying to strategize, trying to think about what all I'm going to do. Grab some water. Just so cool. Grab some water first. <sighs> All right, that's a pull ups.
And, uh, the first couple of reps was a little different on that uh, on that exercise, but uh, last couple of reps, I realized what I was doing. And so I uh, changed up the form a little bit. I'm working on biceps a little bit more straight up and down, and then just try to concentrate on the squeezing that top, making it like a curl instead of like pulling with the back. All right. Well, it should about cover it. Did a lot of pull-ups and rows and stuff, so I probably won't do any uh, rear delts or side delts or anything like that right now. Keep it simple, an hour and a half is kind of a long time. It takes a little while to set everything up though. Um, but it is full body, so that is different. I've been, you know, I've, I've done two hour leg workouts, my two hour back workouts, stuff like that. Well, well over an hour chest workout, so it's not, not that much. It does feel like kind of get the show moving, especially if I want to uh, work on the uh, pulley stretch. So, I guess I'll do one more set of um, uh, curl pull ups and then do a little stretch. All right. So uh, I'm gonna do a little stretch and see where I'm at there. This is the only stretch I've done in two weeks. I just did it one time a couple days ago. All right, not bad. Nice pop right here. Another one right here. So, uh, just uh, stretch the full body here. Upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, alternate like that. Probably do some more uh, exercises tomorrow. It's different if I'm doing circuit training, I can do more ab exercises then. But uh, just um, um, try to get like three sets of upper and lower abs and the twisting motions and make it just a little bit too lengthy. With some people, there's like a philosophy, like Dorian Yates' philosophy, that you um, try to get your workouts quick, in like 45 minutes or so. But this is a full body, straight sets, super sets kind of. But uh, it's also good to uh, you know spend a lot of time at the gym, not too too much, but a decent bit, um, uh, so you can get all the motions in, get a lot of practice, get a good feel for it and everything. But you, you can't overdo it. So it takes a long, long time to recover, and um, you just uh, yeah, you just break it down to where it just takes too long to recover. And it's hard to uh, hit the right groove spot where you're making uh, consistent gains. So a lot of it's just trial and error, building it up.
All right, let me get some socks. Actually, stress, stress the uh, claws out very quick. Oof. I feel that in the legs from the squats. Instantly sore. It wasn't that much weight at all, but um, I just hadn't been doing them. And I do a good form where I go all the way down. So it's, that's a big game changer. But yeah, I wanted to say, when I, when I was doing it, um, I wanted to tell the story. I saw on the, um, I think it might have been Facebook, like some things. Um, Somebody posted a video of somebody doing uh, squats with like 455 pounds and his legs were like maybe even about the size of my arms, maybe even smaller, but <laughs> they were like really skinny. And uh, I, was, I was like, holy crap, what is this guy going to do? So he like pulls it off and it's like, I saw him go like, oh, he's going to squat with it. So he did it and he just went like, And so that's, that's just not getting much out of it. You know, I was, I was scared something was going to snap on him, like his legs were going to just snap off. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Camera angle here. Uh, yeah, so I guess I was thinking, I'm just kind of recapping the workout in my head. I think I only did like five sets of uh, five like working sets of chest, which uh, isn't very much at all. Um, when I'm doing like straight sets like this, normally I do uh, incline, um, flat incline, and like dips. But uh, let's just keep the volume kind of low right now. And uh, I'll give this time another couple days. <laughs> Probably do some circuit training in the next couple days. Or uh, maybe like Cal's the next workout. <sighs> okay, I'm learning the truth right here. Woo! Should slow it down pretty decent. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so, uh, didn't want to hold it too long because uh, I'm going to try this bully out. I'm going to get it. I'm going to look at them for the socks.
One second, let me get a uh, get some creatine, creatine drink. Let's see how. Let's see if this little uh, camera angle. Scared to unplug it. Well, I've done it before and it was all right, but I've also done it and um, uh, video set off. No, it shouldn't, you know, because it's got a battery on it. Well, let's see. All right. Still there? Okay, where's that? Hang on, let's get way, get way out of here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Actually, uh, so I started there and I moved over. It was a little quick. Let me try it again. All right, that's the hard part, about two hours in there.
All right. Some shoulder stretch. It's not bad at all. Notice that stretch uh, helps me a whole lot in kicks. I actually haven't done the uh, use the use that pulley in a long time. Hard to find uh, uh, somewhere to, to put it, somewhere to string it up. Whew. Hard to talk in that stretch. about the workout. How about come is it? All right. 
kind of a long workout. Actually, not that long for doing full body like that. And uh, especially with the stretching too. So I hadn't done, um, I hadn't worked out in about two weeks. I took a two week break. I hadn't done in uh, over two years doing that long with head exercise. But um, it's good to do. I've been going at it pretty hard uh, lately. <sighs> Didn't want to stop because I started making the video today. But um, it's good to do. Um, uh, just kind of recharge everything. <clears throat> I've been doing so much high volume and everything. Uh, it's, it's good to just take a break. Like if you're just doing bodybuilding, uh, you can just like go and go and go. Um, Cause like, you know, like working out once a day and stuff, um, maybe twice a day, sometimes at the most. But uh, I've been working out like, um, uh, like five, six days a week. Um, uh, a lot of times twice a day, sometimes three times a day. Um, sometimes once a day, but uh, I'm doing a lot of volume, so that's good. Um, just take, take a little time off, like like fighters are like going to training camps, and then after after the fight, they take a take some little time off and do. Um, it's in that book, uh, Science and Sports Training. They talk about that, so where it's good to um, when you take time off and do like some activities that you. Um, uh, that are like different from your sport or whatever, from your normal activities. Um, so, uh, so I was doing like some carpentry work and stuff yesterday, which is uh, it's still like activity and stuff, but it's like different uses different muscles and all that. Um, so, um, and that's it. Um, kind of a lot of um, um, a lot of time, but I did. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um, so a lot of times when I do. Um, uh, full body weightlifting uh, like that. I'll just go and go like maybe a couple hours or so, and then um, and then maybe stretch a couple hours later, or maybe even the next day if I've been doing a lot of stretching and stuff. Anyway, I can just go ahead and then, uh, just do like a couple little stretches, um, and then uh, and do a little bit of heavier stretching the next day. But I don't want to uh, just lift and not stretch since I've been um, um, since I hadn't. I hadn't been stretching either. Uh, and once you lift, uh, it tightens everything up. So uh, definitely want to uh, stretch over that. So I uh, actually just want to do one more little stretch, and then I'll uh, we'll set this baby there. My longest video yet. But uh, I've spent a lot longer than this in the gym. All right. So uh, two weeks off isn't really uh, that much time off to uh, to lose anything or anything like that. So um, uh, yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos like this and uh, martial arts videos and stuff like that uh, coming up in the future.